welcome back with another video in this video i'm going to review pixel extended 4.6 which is very latest build for redmi 7 and redmi y3 as well so i before i start i just want to thank aditya for his great work he's doing great things so many rooms are maintaining by aditya so we are grateful to him and all the developers who actually contributed to the source so now let's get started with the settings here you guys can see about phone and of course here is the android version 12 actually this is not android 12 this is android 12 l that means 12.1 and extended version 4.6 and here is the maintainer name and of course the security update is very latest june 5 2022 and baseband and kernel of course since par plus uh, which is uh, from Aditya as well and build number is here so everything is in front of you and finally I just want to say one word of, and if you are actually uh, a lover of pixel extended or pixel experience that kind of ROM which actually doesn't have extra customization actually huge kind of customization you guys can say uh, if you like that kind of ROM and like smoothness then after a long time this is gonna be a perfect choice for you and this is really uh, improved in every single uh, aspect so let me show you that and then we have this uh, system a uh, language and input and as it is from pixel extended or from pixel rom kind of that's why you guys don't need to worry about any kind of g apps because by default it's included g apps so we have here the languages and input and here's the live translate and other things and gestures of course uh, system navigation one-handed mode and all the necessary things which we always uh, was here in that section you guys will get uh, like so three finger screenshot as well everything is working and double tap no problem with that and system update rules as it is official update so no problem and of course uh, included here the device settings that means you guys can enhance your sound quality while listening to music uh, using headphones uh, or DWS or you are using the loudspeaker no problem and here is the display color calibration if you have the idea you guys can change the value red green blue and minimum so this is it and here is the fps overlay and clear speaker um, this is the new feature you guys can use if you want to and here is the digital well-being and parental control safety and emergency and here is the location privacy as usual everything is great no issues and here is the advertising id and personalization if you know about that you guys can check and here is the security of course everything is up to date and face unlock and fingerprint is working very much faster no issues with that but we don't as it is from pixel so we don't have extra customization that means we don't have uh, app lock here i don't know in future it will be added or not so i'll leave it and i don't need it right now you guys can use any third party so here is the accessibility as usual talk back and text and display and extra dim everything is just great here and here is the wallpaper and style you guys will get by default so many wallpapers you guys can uh, download and apply according to your choice then we have the basic colors and wallpaper colors you guys can set according to your choice here and dark theme themed icons app grid so many grids are here you guys can see here Use kind of grid 4x4, 4x5, and 3x3, so many. And then we have the display settings as usual, the regular customizations, everything is available here, but newly added the colors. You guys can use adaptive, boosted, natural, and so many color, which is new thing here. You guys can use and double tap, everything is working, no problem. I already checked. And sound and vibration as usual, the regular customizations which you always have so now here is the customization hub a bit for pixel extended so snow house status bar items and cloak and everything is working fine here and of course traffic indicator is also working in the status bar you guys will be able to see what network problem is right now so i can show you and it is working without any problem
and plug and discuss the magician battery icon and battery percentage you guys will get that feature here then we have the body icon for Wi-Fi and everything is no problem double up to sleep and vibrant touch everything is just great and you guys can change the brightness slider position and auto brightness icon you want or not you guys can select everything here and then just swipe to the right side right side and then double tap to sleep lock screen media cover art pause and you guys already know about that and here is the color changing option you guys can set custom or accent whatever you need you guys can do that and then of course a small clock if you want a small clock on lock screen then you guys can enable that feature and then of course we have the system never gesture customization and here is the monitor setting you guys can use custom colors according to your choice no issues and then of course we have the font style you guys will get a use kind of font and by default you guys can easily use no problem and then of course game space as usual which we have on blaze os and voltage os so the same thing is here so no problem with that you guys can add game here then we have other things like power menu and call and long press for torch you guys can enable that settings which is uh, useful i guess long press for torch just press and hold your power button while your screen is off you, you guys will be able to turn on the torch so which is great thing now let's talk about some other things like smoothness it, it, it's really 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 button smooth and no issues with recovery stack or any kind of uh, encryption issue you guys can easily access your internal storage so this is a great thing so this is good and by default you guys will get google camera go if you want to use of course this is google camera sorry this is not google camera go by default you guys will get the google camera and also google camera go here is the files both are google camera so you guys can uh, add a great choice here by default and i already rooted my device and let me show you the safety net and uh, here is the google play store which is certified you guys can see certified and now let me show you the safety net status and which is basic integrity pass since it is profile patch but so no problem with that you guys can easily use banking application here i'm using uh, the nexus pay and which is working fine no issues you guys can just do login no issues if you face any problem just go to magisk and then go to setting here on the top just go to settings and just find out the configure denial list and the application official application banking application which you want to use just mark it and get back and again open that application and check the mark is okay or not then open your application and it will work no problem with that and here is the animation of uh, and um, app opening and closing which i am really impressed actually which is great really great and animation is just faster than earlier so this is great and you will get uh, uh, fun so no issues with that and just press and hold on the home screen and you guys will get a different user interface which is from android 13 and you guys will be able to check your widgets which is great and here i'm using the widgets and the important thing is here if you want to uh, say that the control center is lagging or not so I just clearly show you here you can see which is very smooth no issues with the control center it's not lagging so this is gonna be a great choice for you people if you want to use now let me show you the home settings that means the launcher by default of course we have the pixel launcher here and it's really better than the earlier version so this is really great and let me show you the Geekbench as it is since perf and I didn't get any problem in practical life so that's why I always uh, keep saying that uh, I don't believe in those paperwork these are paperwork so let me show you I found 264 single core score and multi core double nine two. and again I checked then I got it to 56 single core and double nine seven so it's usual and if you keep using the device for some days that means 
uh, the room for a few days then it will be stable and you will get more performance so this is great thing and by default you guys will get the FM radio and other things are working no issues with that I checked so hope you guys understand the video and if you want to play games of course you guys can do that and battery backup is really great no issues with that and you guys always uh, just I keep saying battery backup is not good is not good and because you guys are using that device for a long time and your battery just uh, um, reduced its health so that's why you guys can face that problem and if you don't use the room for uh, one week or some days and that's why you guys face that problem so when you flash any custom room just use that room at least three days five days then you guys will be able to uh, get the maximum performance from your device and battery everything will be in control so this is great thing i guess i hope you guys understand the video and if you like my work then do subscribe and hit the bell icon